Once again, it's John and Noah. Noah. And we're gonna what are we gonna do? Solve this. This here. It's the four word by, by five. I don't know if it actually is close. Close. Four. These aren't actually mine. Yeah, well, who knows? No, they're not. But anyway, 4x4x5 four by four by cube, which is a modification cube, I suppose. Cuboid, as it were. And. Daddy, just solve it. Oh, just solve it. Okay, I'm told to be quiet. Just solve it. So, we're going to solve it. Anyway, the strategy, I got to tell them a little bit about the strategy. Oh, it, just don't oh I won't do it. Okay. So this is solved a lot like the 3x3x4. Three by three by the only difference is that we have to make middles. So we got to turn make middles. I, I solve the top and the bottom because it gives me perspective. And you do that pretty intuitively. Just kind of finagle it around until you have that nice pattern. Whoop. This was a do-it-yourself version, which tested my technical abilities. Anyway, so there's our middle over here. So we'll start off with the uh, red middle, right? Right. Right, so this is easy. And I'm just gonna do each one of these things independently. So red, and let's do the red here. Uh, just be sure to not mess things up. Red, and you know, if you've done the Various large cubes, 4x4x4, four 5x5x5, by four by four, five by five by five. this is all very familiar. I then do the opposite one because it gets easy to flip things back into place. Put this here. Oh, I might as well. Here. Back. And here. So. So. This goes like so. In, turn, back, down. So do it by whatever strategy you want. I just happen to do it this way. And I'm gonna put orange one here. And this needs to come here. Okay. All right. Here, all right, so basically we have our orange center, red center, now we need to get these last two centers, which oftentimes takes a little bit more doing. Um, put this back so that these centers are okay. So we have one here, this is solved, we just need to solve this bottom part, we need to solve this bottom part. So to do that, what I wanna do is I wanna flip these two so that they can become solved, taking these out of the way. The concept that I'm gonna use is if I take an orange one and put it on one side, then the other orange one put it on the other side, then I can flip them, I won't screw up the orange side, but I will be able to solve one of these. So I'm just gonna move them in place. So move it in, take it down, move it out. So basically I just put an orange side on the same side as where this is. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'm going to move an orange side onto here. So move the this piece out of the way, bring it around to retain the orange, and bring it back. So this is the configuration that I want. What this gives me, puts me in position to do, is do a double turn, whoop, Aha, like this. Do a double turn like this, which keeps the orange side retained, and I've just made this. It messed up the, this, uh, the middle side, but that's okay. We can, uh, we can uh, fix that later. So I'll put the orange side back in. Well, actually, what I'm gonna do is bring these back to where they're supposed to be. So this will come in, down and back. Put this orange where it's supposed to be, down and back. So now I've isolated these two. I just have to get this middle in place. Um, and uh, what I can do is actually bring these around. And if I do a double turn, it puts these back into place. This is messed up, but you know we can easily deal with that. 
and this goes back into place here. So these middles are sold. This we have to get back into place. And I'll just put the blue with the blue, double turn in here. So very quickly we were able to get all of our centers. What we have to keep in mind is which center belongs where because we're defining where the centers go. So I'm going to look for a corner piece. So here's the blue side. And if I orient it based on the orange, here's a corner piece. So the green is supposed to be here, not the yellow. So I've got to switch it around. So to switch the green to over here, we just do a, um, do a 2R where um, you're moving these middle pieces. 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R. So we've seen this before. It moves one of the blue pieces. We do the same thing on the L side. 2L, 2U, 2L, 2U, 2L. And that starts us off on the right track. We have orange, blue, with the green at the, at the proper side, so we've defined our middles. And before we can move on and basically convert this to just a 3 by 3 by 4 because we have to get these middles in place. So it can get a little more complicated there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it, I'm just going to do the blue um, middle portions here, blue uh, middle edge pieces here. So starting off with the red, here's the red, I'll find the other red and blue, and it's right here, right there. So I'm going to move that opposite side here so that uh, I can wanna, I can double turn it and move it into here. What I'm then going to do is move it off to the side to kind of take it out of the way of the field of action. Double turn there by 180 degrees, move it back and bring it back. Kind of like what you used to do with a 4x4x5. Four by four by so there it is, I'm going to hold it there. And I'm going to keep building blue sides. This blue and orange is already there so I'm going to move that off to the side. But I'm going to move it, yeah, move it off to the same side here. So now I've got the blue, sorry, blue and yellow. This is blue and orange. Look for the other blue and orange. And it's right here, the opposite side here. So I'll just move that to the opposite side. And move this back. I was moving this to this side, the same side as the red side. So we'll do that here. I'll just move this up. Make this more complicated than I needed to. Move this back. All right, so these two blues are on the one side. Okay, so the yellow one, we're going to double turn, move it out of the way, turn it back, like so, and get it back again. So all we have left is the green and blue. And looking for the green and blue, it's right here and right here. So it's already in line. And again, I'm just going to move them to these sides. So bring it down here. And I'm just going to exchange, do an exchange with this one. So bring it down, across, and up. And lo and behold, we have all of our all that back. We have all of our blues. Orange or yellow and blue, red and blue, orange and blue, green and blue. So from here, what I'm going to do is just solve, is just put all those on the bottom so I can start working on my cross. Now that we have all of our centers lined up, so put the green, put this down here, here's the orange, put this in the proper place. And then the yellow goes here. And looking for the red, the red goes here. All right, so we've got our nice cross here at the blue side. What we don't have is we have to solve for these centers, which can seem a little complicated because we don't want to mess these guys up. This is already solved, so I don't have to worry about that. What I'm going to do is a variation of the corner switch. Um, but only from the standpoint of the of the middle. So I want to move this yellow over here and uh, basically solve these two. This will move this over here and this over here. If this yellow were over here and I wanted to move it here, then I'd do a middle switch and do that uh, um, do that algorithm there. 
if you recall, to do a, a corner switch, but from the middle, I'm just doing it like a, I would pretend like it's a two by two and switch these two. So that's gonna be, I'm gonna define this as the R and this is U. So two R, U, two R, U, two R, and then turn with a U prime and a D, then to U, uh, I'm sorry, two R, U prime, two R, U prime, uh, U rather, and two R. So that put that put this right back where we need it to be. This happens to be where it needs to be. This happens where it needs to be. Here's an example of what I mean. Once again, we have the red here, and we want to move um, these back into place. Well, we see that I can't move here to here. These yellows, I want to pair them up, but they're in the wrong configuration. So the ideal situation is to take an orange and move it here. So I'm going to look over here. Here's the orange. That's where I want. So I'm going to do a middle um, edge flip in order to get it here and then do my corner flip back here. So starting off with here, I, I just do that algorithm. 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, U, U, 2R, U, U, 2R, U, 2R, U prime, 2R. And that's what that did, is it flipped that to here. And now to move just this middle piece here, I, using the middle, go ahead and do the, um, the side switch here. And lo and behold, it gets us what we want. All these centers are solved without messing these guys up. We can also make sure that we move this in line, still have our cross. We have all of our crosses here. Now we could move these into place. Uh, that's easy to do, as you probably guessed. This is where it needs to be. This is where it needs to be. These guys aren't, so that's a simple, um, that's a simple center switch using that algorithm. Now bear in mind, this was a do-it-yourself, and I didn't do it myself quite as skillfully as I could have, which is why it kind of hangs up a little bit. But anyway, we have a nice, beautiful cross here, and that allows us to now, we've now deconstructed it down to a much simpler puzzle, and we can solve it more like a, more like a, a three by three by five, um, using all of our familiar algorithms. The only difference now is a parity issue that's unique to this puzzle at the end, which is what makes this very difficult to solve.